Hey, it's been a while. That was weird. That was awkward. Let's let's just call this my slow return to our regularly scheduled programming. The past couple of weeks, I've literally just been sewing masks. It's been all masks and I'm tired of it. I still have a lot more to do. Like we're not, we're not done, but I am tired of sewing so many masks all the time. So we're gonna do something else. And what better way to flex my insane sewing skills than by sewing straight lines into a literal rectangle of cotton. This should be an easy project. Um, it should only take me an hour. I saw the top on like Pinterest and TikTok. I thought it was cute. I thought it would be cool to make it. So we're just gonna make it today. Take some measurements real quick, cut some fabric real quick, do some sewing real quick, and that should be it. It shouldn't take more than an hour. I have about five or six different varieties of plain white cotton. Not different color, no other colors of cotton, no other like not muslin, not anything else, just literally straight up white cotton. I have this old projects that I just salvaged the fabric from. I have this also pieces that were cut out for projects but didn't turn into anything. I have like six sleeves in there. I don't know why I have six sleeves cut out in there. This is like four different cottons just all scrapped. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five different cottons all scrapped. Why? Some of those are actually pretty heavy weights. This is like a medium weight cotton. I might just use the medium weight one because it does gather really well and I really just need a rectangle. Then I need to just cut out the tie. So I'm thinking my best option is to just go with the medium weight one. It gathers okay, it's not super sheer. I feel like my lightest weight cotton will be too sheer to do a single layer and I don't wanna do a double layer because then that will just create more issues with the gathering. So medium weight, shit, I got makeup on it. No, I didn't, medium weight it is. Here's what we're looking at. Ignore this, I just really like the way my writing looked today. Here are my measurements. These are the pieces that I've calculated that I'm going to need, not including the tie, which is actually going to have to wrap around both arms and come back through here each side has to come through here from the back and then come back around to the back and tie in the back so that i will figure out once i'm closer to, once this is all finished i'll figure out how long i need the tie to be but these are the pieces that i'm going to need for the garment this is the main body of the piece these are my final measurements in inches including seam allowance and this is the facing for the bottom hem because when i was looking really closely at the picture i noticed they actually used a separate facing for the bottom hem whereas on the top they just folded it about an inch and a half, not including the casing for the tie. So this accounted for seam allowance, facing for the bottom. Also, I added an extra one inch for the casing for the tie on the bottom. Anyway, need to cut my pieces. Pretty pressed then, so that is all set. So I have to cut out the pieces and get to sewing. And also change my thread. I've been using red thread because of all the masks I've been doing and I just have this. I don't even know how long I've had it to be honest, but I only have one. I need four if I'm going to use a serger. It's way too big to be using for my machine at this point, but I really just want to finish it. And it seems like I haven't used a lot, but trust me, I have. I have used this for so many projects and it's obviously this is where we are at. So trying to get through this, I'm trying so hard to get through this. So I sewed down the sides real quick just to make sure that the sides of the top are finished and I also attached the facing to the bottom of the shirt and top stitched it so it 
looks all nice and neat and the next thing i have to do is press both sides down making sure that i leave a casing for the ties to go through and a slightly larger one for the bottom because both straps are going to have to pass through it to crisscross in the back so the main part of the top is finished i have the top casing here and the bottom casing here now i just have to cut out a bunch of thin strips to make a really long strap so we'll see i feel like it's going to have to be maybe 100 inches long to wrap through here go through this whole thing wrap around the back around the arm cross through here both times and then wrap around to the back of the top it's looking pretty good my machine had a malfunction here so i'll probably have to redo this but other than that i think the casing looks really good my hands are literally burning after taking this all of this and turning it inside out but now we can add it to here Honestly, I feel good. Like, <sighs> hold on, let me, let me do the hair. The hair really makes it, but like, are you serious? It just like, it looks so good. It came out so good. Obviously <laughs> no bra, open back. I love it. It looks so good. I'm, I don't know. We're gonna have to make something today because I'm on a good one. Honestly, I feel like I just need to adjust the tension like here and here to like really get it going. Once it's going, we're gone. That's it. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. And I also have these pants that I borrowed and I am going to make a pattern from them. Well, I'm going to measure them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take measurements off of these pants because I really like the way that these fit. They're a little bit high-waisted. They are wide leg. Not my foot. We don't get that for free. Not in this economy. Wide leg. Anyway, that's it for my video today. I really hope you guys liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.